Hey guys, I think we're going to do something a little bit different for this video and maybe turn this into like a little series. Um, so a few weeks ago, I noticed somebody had this sealed PlayStation 2 double pack of a red and blue memory card posted on Facebook for $15. So I asked him if they had any other video games they were looking to sell. And he said that he did. He just needed to get them out. He said he thought he had like a Dreamcast. Um, I don't remember exactly, but some consoles and stuff like that. So about a week went by and he eventually messaged me and said he had them, he had them ready and I could come over and take a look. So I, I head over there, he gets the memory card out. Um, it looks sealed, everything looks good. And so I say I want that because I think it's worth about 50 bucks sealed on eBay and I was paying 15, so pretty good deal there. And then he shows me the rest of the stuff that he has. So he has three or four boxes of consoles, some Super Nintendo games, different controllers, accessories, things like that. And he told me that he used to clean them up, maybe fix them if they needed fixing, and he just felt like not doing it anymore. Um, and he, ha he said these had not been tested. So I might be setting myself up here for a little bit of a disappointment because you never know on Facebook, right? They, they could have all been tested and not working and they just threw them in a box and whatever. So I'm taking a chance here, but I figured maybe we could turn this into a little mini series and I'm going to try to go through and test everything and see what works and what doesn't. Once we've determined what works, we'll put a value on all that stuff and then see where we're at with our $300 buy because we spent $300 on this. And then for anything that doesn't work, I think I'm going to attempt to fix. And again, I know I said in a previous video that I don't really fix stuff, but I ended up taking off the, the back plate of a 3DS and putting it back on properly, which I know seems really easy and stupid, but I was nervous about messing stuff up, but that went on pretty easily. And so I kind of moved on to opening up some controllers for like PlayStation and cleaning those out and making them work properly. And so now I have a little bit more confidence and I know working on a console and fixing that is much more involved than, you know, taking off a plate of a 3DS XL or opening up a controller. But I figured we'd try um, and just make it a mini series to see out of everything we got, how much money can we make if we're repairing things? And again, I'm gonna be learning as we go. I'm probably gonna mess stuff up, but I think it'll be interesting to try to figure out and see how much time it takes to actually do this. I don't think it's something that I wanna do all the time because I'd rather just buy stuff that's working obviously and sell it, but I figured it'd be kind of fun to do this. So let's go through everything in the different boxes. I haven't looked at everything yet because there is just stuff jammed in these boxes. I think there's like four N64s, a GameCube, a Dreamcast, PS2s, I don't know, but let's uh, let's go through the boxes and see what's in here and then we'll evaluate our next step. Okay, so here's box number one. Again, a lot of this stuff is pretty dirty. It's, it's at the very least gonna need an extreme cleaning. So I might have to take this stuff apart anyways to clean it up, but let's go through the first box. We've got the sealed PS2 memory cards. Again, that's about 50 bucks. So I would say we're about down to 250 to 260 dollar buy-in then we've got lemming game for a super nintendo where in the world is carmen san diego on super nintendo i didn't even know that existed home alone 2 lost in new york so Never played this, but awesome movies. So hopefully this works and I get to test it out a little bit. Maybe I'll put a little footage in the video of it working, hopefully. Next up, we've got Frogger. Label's a little damaged, but not terrible. Mario Paint. Not a super valuable game. I want to say around 15 bucks, but if all these games work, I'll be feeling pretty good about our chances here. Double Dragon. Battletoads. So... I think normal Battletoads is worth more than this, but not, not bad there. Tecmo Super NBA Basketball. We got Michael Jordan on there? I can't tell, but... All right, and then I think last game, there could be some buried. Madden 94. Probably a terrible, not, not a valuable game. And when I say terrible or a good game, I'm speaking strictly in terms of uh, like dollar value. So doesn't mean they're a bad game. They're just not worth a lot. So, all right, next up, we've got a super dirty N64. 
with no jumper or expansion pack. Um, something clanking around in there. You can hear that? <laughs> let's hope that's the jumper pack in there. I doubt it, but let's let's uh, let's hope. Got another one missing a jumper or expansion pack. This one does not have anything clanking around inside, so no jumper pack in there. We've got a Super Retro 64 AC adapter new. This is actually good because I seem to have a, sh a shortage of like power cords for systems, whether it's 64 or Super Nintendo. I don't know why, but maybe it's just me. Next up, we've got a 64, nothing inside, but we've got the jumper pack in there. So that's good to see. Because right now, again, I do not have extras. Oh, we got a Super Nintendo. I did not know this was in here. My hope is that a lot of this stuff works when I turn it on, right? <laughs> And all I have to do is pretty much clean up the exterior. So, Super Nintendo. Let's get this pink Nintendo case out of here. I've got some of these listed on eBay right now. So, I might just add this to the lot. I might delete the listing and add on like another few bucks and put this in there. But, pink one looks pretty cool. All right, we've got an Atomic Purple N64 controller. I'm not sure what's going on there, but that is... Uh, that is pretty gross looking. Other than that though, not looking terrible. Uh, right. Cord is uh, wrapped under about 25 things. So let's see if we can get it out of here. There we go. All right, so that, that actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna guess that that works. Maybe I should be wearing gloves for this. <laughs> Uh, we've got an Xbox 360 power brick and cord. I, I'll be honest, I literally hate Xbox 360s. I don't know why. I just hate them. They all seem to be broken. The games, anytime I come across 360 games, they're just, they have literally like zero value compared to other systems. So maybe it's just me, but I, I despise Xbox 360. And I've I was never an Xbox kid growing up. I was always Nintendo and PlayStation, so that might have something to do with it. But there's a black GameCube. Looks to be in pretty good shape. Got two Genesises. I think these are Model 2s, I think. Got another one. Pretty dirty again, but we've got our Dreamcast. Let's hope there's like a bonus game in here. Like, let's, maybe there's a cannon spike in here. Oh, <laughs> oh there's a, there is something in here and the disc looks pretty good. I'm going to guess that this isn't too valuable because it's not very valuable on PS1, but I was not expecting a bonus game in there. That gives me hope for maybe bonus games and some of the PS2s and stuff. So Dreamcast, little yellowed and stuff. I don't see a power cable in here, but there's still three or four boxes to go. Um, power adapter. This might fit the Genesis. Not sure what that's to. Looks like you got a PSP, I think, or a Vita case. Some AV cables. We've got we've got um, a Frito or something on here. Let's get that. Let's, let's get that off there. Got some remnants of it. That is gross looking. No game. Bummer. All right, last thing in the box. One more slim PS2. What do we got? Oh man, I think I'm gonna be let down on the rest of these because that other one had a game in it. And then we all, we also have a uh, Sesame Street Alphabet Fisher Price toys from 1976. I maybe you, you look through this or something. I don't know what this is. Honestly, no clue. So <laughs> probably worth about zero. All right, so that's box one. Let's get box two. Okay, we've got box number two and a half here. We've got a little shoe box on top. I have a feeling this one's not going to be as exciting as the other one, but we have a black 64 controller. I'm assuming this is in here because the joystick is... Uh, really rough maybe i'll try and buy a joystick replacement um online and replace this we'll see how that goes but that could be an option 
We've got a Mad Cats Dual Force 2 Pro. Looks like for PS2. Again, this is a tangled mess of stuff, so. Oh, I just saw something awesome in there that I was not expecting. Sweet. I, I am pumped about that. So we got a Red 64 controller. I thought I saw that this had an issue. Maybe it's a different one. But this one, honestly, it looks good except for the joystick. So maybe just a replacement there. All right, here it is. I did not know this was in here. Hopefully this works. This is this is awesome. It's only worth probably about $40 to $50, but to just have this in here, I did not see this when I did a quick look through when I bought the stuff. So awesome. I'm excited about that. Okay, so the red Game Boy camera was too tempting to clean up and see if it works because it's such an easy thing. I can just test really quick and that'll be our first item that we're gonna test in this video. So let's get this plugged in and I will be right back. Okay, so we've got the Game Boy camera in. I cleaned, I did clean it up and I cleaned the contacts. So let's see if we got a working one here. Where's the power? There we go. Got the Game Boy logo. And this appears like it's gonna work, nice. There we go, we got a dancing Mario. Let's move on, let's go to shoot, shoot. And there we are, we're on camera. We've got a working Game Boy camera. So that's exciting, that should bring us about 40 to $50 over our 300 back. So I'm feeling really good about this buy. That might change once we open some stuff up and realize a ton of it's broken, but either way, I'm feeling like we're going to break even pretty easily on this $300. So with the potential of maybe, you know, a $500 profit, but let's move on. All right. PS2 controller. Looks to be in pretty good shape. Um, all right. All right. And then we've got... Oh, this is a tangled mess of stuff. Let's just... Let's grab everything out of here some AV cables, some power cables. This, this is the lightest power cable I've ever felt. That means it's super cheap. Like this thing has no weight to it. So I don't know what that goes to, maybe Genesis or, maybe actually it could work for the Super Nintendo too, because it looks a little bigger, but that thing is low quality, whatever that is. So, all right, let's move on. We've got uh, an adapter. I think this would adapt to, I wanna say like European outlets. I've never been to Europe, but it appears to look something like that. Probably learned that from Home Alone when I watched that movie, so could be way wrong there. All right, what's next? Because this is, got a PS2 and the uh, disc drive is missing, or the tray is missing the front. So not sure how that's gonna work and that one's not as easy to check for a bonus game, obviously, because you need to have it plugged in. So let me try and get some of this untangled and then we'll come back. Okay, I think I decided I'm not gonna try and untangle anything. We're just gonna try and get through it because I don't know. We've got what looks to be a bowling ball controller here. I literally have no idea what this is. I mean, it's clearly a bowling ball, but like what it goes to or anything. Maybe that could be a bonus and it will be valuable but i doubt it let's see we've got the mad cats blue ps2 controller here let's get that over there we've got uh this might be a psp charger no it says hp so but maybe it'll work on something else got some more av cables Um, just ton of stuff in here. Hey, look at that. We've got another three little pigs. Same thing as the Sesame Street. All right, let's start from the right since nothing's tangled here. Xbox 360 controller, and it's got the battery cover, which is surprising based on it just being in this box. A PS2 controller missing the analog rubber. A Mad Cat's Xbox controller, looks like. Another Mad Cat's PS2 controller. GameCube. 
just Mad Cats. Not sure, but it is off brand. This thing is super sticky and gross. Uh, put that down. <laughs> There's another one. That one is sticky too. It might just be the the material on it because both of them are pretty gross. All right, PS2 controller. Looks decent. Got a Dreamcast controller here. Usually these uh, analogs are really worn down with the uh, little dots here, but this one looks pretty good. So I'm gonna say that wasn't used too much. So that's good news. All right, an off-brand an off Super Nintendo controller, a nunchuck in here, a PS1 controller, a blue PS2 missing one of the analog rubbers, a Maxima PS2 it looks like, another OEM PS2, another third-party Super Nintendo. This thing is funky looking. Got a Genesis controller. What is this? Nintendo. I don't know what this is. It's pretty heavy. I don't know. It might be some kind of like portable battery. So, then we've got a super pad in here. I remember having one of these as a kid. My parents got me a, a gray super pad. So, I had this exact one but gray. Um, we've got a... AV or RFU adapter for 64. Looks like a slim PS2. Actually, it says Toshiba, so I'm not sure. Ton of a uh, ton of Genesis controllers. Not sure about. I've never seen this one before. I've seen six buttons, but not this one here. So I have to look those up. And then a multi tap. So and then a, a, an old Radio Shack something that plugs into PS2. So, um, all right, that's it for this box. I mean, there is definitely a value in here. I'm, I'm assuming some of this is gonna work. I just feel like there's no way that this doesn't work, at least some of it. So let's get everything back in the box and let's move on to the last box. Okay, last box here, pretty small. And then also bonus, this like plastic wrap thing came in the other box. I'm not sure what I'd use this for, but I'll take it, I guess. All right, so we've got a Air Force P21 headset. Never heard of that before. Probably not worth much. We've got a PSP. I think this is a 3001 model. It's, or, I mean, a 1001 model. It's pretty heavy. Um, it does look to be in, like, pretty good shape. I think I looked at it while I was there, and the battery cover doesn't really stay on very well. But hopefully this works, because... That could be pretty good to get our, some of our value back. Got NES controller here. An off-brand NES controller. Um, a snake bite. I don't know, PS2 it looks like, based on the buttons. Then we've got an Ultima Super Stick. That is an interesting controller. Probably goes with the NES. Got a N64 gray controller with a rough joystick. And then this is the damage that I was expecting to see on the red one before. Um, the cord is terrible. And it's also missing the R1. So we're going to see if we can fix that up somehow. And then... A VR motion controller in here, so that's kind of a bonus. I, I am expecting this to work for sure. And then a PS2 and a off-brand PS2. So that's everything. Oh, I forgot to mention, the PSP is missing the uh, left analog joystick top. So that's probably pretty cheap to find. So we should be able to find that and just stick that on there, I think. I'm kind of guessing, but um yeah so that's what we got okay so that's everything we got um again some of it looks to be in pretty good shape might just need to clean up but next video we'll go through some of the stuff probably in a time lapse or and we'll see what works and what doesn't we're going to try and do everything in the next video and see what's working what isn't what needs replacing what just needs to clean up um things like that so again i paid 300 for it if the games 
work, the memory cards in there, and you know, a couple other thing works. That's back to our 300 and then we'll see what we can make uh, fixing some of this stuff if we can do it. So uh, I appreciate everybody watching. If you enjoyed, uh, please like the video and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.